This powder is everything. Sol Soliel, Solier, Soliel. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name's Olivia and I am posting two videos a week related to beauty or lifestyle, that sort of thing. So if that is something that you want to see, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my uploads. But other than that, let's just go ahead and jump straight into today's favorites video. Okay, so I'm sorry if my eyes look a little red. They're a little irritated today. Not sure why. They've just been a bit irritated and watery even before I put my makeup on. So I haven't put any lashes on. I don't want to put too much on them to aggravate them. So yeah, just going for the natural glowy look today. And I'm actually kind of living. The sun's shining, living my best life well, as best as I can whilst we're in lockdown. So I thought I would sit down and show you some of my favorite beauty related products. I have so many that I love, but I've tried to narrow it down the best that I can. So the first skincare item, which I have been loving, is these Pixi Detoxify eye patches. So you put these under your eyes and honestly, these are literally a lifesaver. I get really, really puffy, like dark circles under my eyes, especially my sleeping schedule is all over the place right now. So these honestly just make me look alive. Um, but yeah, these are really, really good. You put them on, leave them on for about 10, 15 minutes. And honestly, my under eyes, just all the puffiness and all the redness and everything just disappears under my eye. Definitely one of my absolute faves. I, I use these all the time. So another thing that I've really been loving recently, skincare wise, is the Clean and Clear Blackhead Clearing Cleanser. So as you can see, like I've been trying this every day for about two weeks now. And honestly, my blackheads, like I have struggled so much trying to get them under control, trying to get rid of them. I've tried so many different products. And then I saw this in Asda when I was out doing my weekly food shop. And I was just like, you know what, I'm going to try it because a lot of people recommend the Clean and Clear range. And I've been using this and honestly, my skin hasn't looked as good as it does right now in a long time. I just wash my face in the morning like normal with a face wash. And then once it's dry, I just go in with a cotton pad and some of this, I just wet the cotton pad and I just rub it on my face. You don't have to rinse it off. And honestly, like... It is definitely working and my blackheads are disappearing and my skin is less textured and I really am just loving it right now because I've always been insecure about my skin and that product is really, really helping. I think it was like four pounds. So if you're struggling with like blackheads, then definitely, definitely recommend that. Like I said in my whole video, I really struggle to find good primers, but this one is one that I actually love and this is the revolution conceal and fix mattifying primer so i really love this because it covers all my pores it literally just gives me such a smooth base and really helps with controlling my oils so this one's really really good and for the price point it's definitely definitely one of my favorites i picked up the milk hydro grip primer and i have used this every day since i got it I am absolutely living for it. It is amazing. It makes my makeup stay in place for hours. It makes my skin look flawless. And honestly, I am just in love with this and I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing this when it runs out. So a foundation that I have really been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. It just looks like this. But honestly, I love this foundation. So because I have an oily T-zone, I can never really wear dewy foundations. They usually have to be mattifying foundations. But with this one, I absolutely love it. This is absolutely one of my faves. And honestly, like I love the fact that it just gives me such a dewy finish, but yeah, it's such high coverage and doesn't make me oily whatsoever. So yeah, really, really been loving this. <sighs> I wanted to mention this before foundation because this is what I use it for, but this is the Chanel Solier Tan de Chanel. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, 
Soliel, Solier, Soliel. I don't know, but it's basically a bronzing makeup base and it just comes in one shade, but actually it's a really nice shade. And what I do with this is I apply it under my foundation. So what I'll do is I'll put it sort of where I want to contour, around my nose, under my chin sort of area, and then around my forehead. And then I blend it slightly. I don't blend it all the way in. And then I apply my foundation on top like normal. It honestly helps to just like chisel out those areas and it's really, really nice. Expensive, but I honestly really, really rate this product. For concealer, I have a couple that I've really been loving for a good few months now. And the first one is the Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer from Makeup Revolution. So they obviously did the Conceal and Define fan uh, concealer, which I loved. But then they brought out the hydrate one and under my eyes so i have combination skin so around my t-zone is oily but under my eyes gets really dry so this one is actually really good for under the eyes it doesn't dry me out but yeah it gives me the coverage that i need and honestly i just love the finish of it and another concealer that i really love is the barry m all night long full coverage concealer this concealer is so cheap, but so full coverage. So yeah, I alternate between this one and the Conceal and Hydrate, or I use them both together. I love both of them. They both work really well, and they're both so affordable. For face powder, right now my absolute ride or die face powder is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder in Vanilla. This powder is everything. So... Honestly, like I put this on under my eyes, I, I bake under my eyes and then cover my whole face. It adds a little bit of coverage because this is the shade of vanilla. The translucent one is nice, but it doesn't add coverage. This shade vanilla adds an extra bit of coverage, but it also just feels and makes my skin look so smooth. My absolute favorite bronzer right now, and has been for a while actually, is the Kiko Ocean Feel Bronzer in the shade Warm Honey. This is it here. This bronzer, honestly, is just the perfect color for me because I'm so pale. It's the most perfect color. It blends like a dream and honestly, it was really affordable. So for highlight, this was such a hard decision because I have so many highlighters that I love. Like. I use so many different highlighters all the time, but this one honestly has to be one of my favorites simply for the fact that one, it's absolutely blinding and two, it was only three pounds. And this is the Makeup Obsession Mega Lightning Highlighter. But honestly, like I'm just gonna literally just like one swipe and look at that. It's absolutely amazing i really really like it it stays all day and honestly i just cannot fault it and for the price point 100 percent in my faves so at the minute my absolute favorite eyeshadow palette has to be the anastasia beverly hills novena volume 2 palette and the reason for this is one the colors absolutely love it i really really love colorful eye makeup i know it's not everyone's cup of tea but for me i love it and the palette the formula is so unique but honestly i love working with that palette i look at it and that there's just so much creativity that bursts out of me because there's so many possibilities with it so i really really love that for my brows the one thing that i could not live without right now is my anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel. Honestly, when they release this, it changed the game for me. Like, honestly, no makeup makeup days. I just brush some of this from my brows and I leave it. Like, it is so pigmented. It's got coverage, but yet it just, like, glides through my brows. And honestly, it just makes the brow process so, so easy. For mascara, I have been really, really loving the Smashbox Super Fan Mascara recently i love how it spaces my lashes and it just gives me like a curl like my normal lashes are non-existent and i really really am enjoying this for an eyeliner i've really been 
loving the Pixie Beauty Endless Silky Eye Pen in Black Noir. It's so creamy, so easy to apply, and honestly, like, doesn't move or transfer, which I absolutely love about it. Next, my absolute favourite ride or die lip liner is the Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner. Honestly, I've already gone through one of these. This is my second one. Even if I just want to put on a clear gloss or whatever, I just put this on underneath just to accentuate my lips, put a gloss on top and sort it. It's so creamy. It is absolutely beautiful, so pigmented, couldn't live without it. Then my absolute favourite gloss at the minute is the Fenty Beauty Gloss in Glass Slipper. This is just a clear gloss. I used to have the Diamond Bomb one, Diamond Milk, but this one, honestly, I'm just absolutely living for right now. Clear gloss, even if I'm not wearing makeup, just shove a bit of gloss on, a little bit of highlight, 100% absolutely love. My favourite lash glue, I don't know why I didn't try this sooner, so many people love it, but the Duo Lash Glue is my absolute favourite, like, before that I used to just use the ones that came with, like, the lash, like, the Eyelure lashes and stuff, but this Duo Lash Glue, honestly, absolutely amazing, my lashes do not move, once I get them in the right place and they're applied, I can wear them for, like, 8-10 hours and they do not come off, so honestly, really, really recommend this. Then finally for makeup is this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Spray. Since this is released, absolutely love it. It makes my skin look so radiant. I'm really about like sort of the glowy look rather than the fully matte look recently. And this honestly just helps my makeup stay in place all day. Like, and even halfway through the day, if I feel like I'm a bit dull or whatever, I can just spray my face with this and just like bring some life back to me. The final thing I want to talk about is for removing my makeup. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Slay Away The Day Makeup Removing Balm. This one is in the scent Rose. Before this, I had a peach one and I used it all. Honestly, makes my life so much easier, especially when I've got like a full base on. This just melts it away, melts away my eyeshadow, everything. Even like the most stubborn liquid lipsticks, this will do it and I cannot rate it enough. Okay guys, so that is all of my favorite products right now. All of the products that I'm absolutely living for, 100% recommend them. If you guys want to check them out, then I definitely would recommend doing so. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what some of your favourite makeup products are, if any of them were included in this video today. And before you leave, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And also leave a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really helps me out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!